Welcome to RCR Wireless News, I'm Mark Pendergrass, and I'm here now with Steve Kim. He's manager of Site Solutions at Costco. Steve, thanks for being here. How are you? Great. We're interested in hearing about some of the new antenna solutions that are specifically designed for small sites. Sure. Well, as folks probably know, is that when you do dense, de dense urban deployment of metro cells, oftentimes you run into a landscape of buildings where you're in between streets and you may need to point east, you may need to point west, you may need to point north. The other issue you wind up with small cells, you don't want to interfere with the macro cells. You wind up with a situation where you need to develop these very unique patterns as well as control the down tilt, which is utterly important with small cells because you don't want to create interference in the LTE network. And so we've brought out a line of small cells that allow us to do those things as well as hide them behind concealments to make it a little bit easier to get those things permitted. That means making smaller antennas and making the antennas that are sometimes shrouded by RF permeable materials or transparent materials that allow you to place these things wherever you want them. So they can be pretty much not seen but perform still in the network as they're intended. So tell us a little bit about the concealments. There's no issue with interference. No, no, and not at all. As a matter of fact, we test. This has been done for a long time in the macro conceal concealment world. So all we're doing is taking the same things that we know about controlling interference in the macro world, as well as RF transparency, and kind of making the small, that making the antennas uh, concealed and make it so they're hidden from public view, so that it's easier to get these things through the constituents of, of public agencies. Right. And, and what are some of the form factors? Typically, the form factors of the metro cells. You typically think of them as being about a two and a half foot uh, tall antenna that's maybe anywhere between 8 inches and 12 inches in diameter. And in one particular case, we've actually taken 65 degree panel antennas, three of them, and be able to surround those around a pole so that we can actually sectorize those things and we can turn them into a quasi-omni. They can actually do a complete 360 degree azimuth antenna pattern or a 270 or a 65 or whatever you know, the mobile operator requires. Now, does that allow for this one radio? Uh, absolutely, yeah. You can, in fact, with this one of the, the solutions that we've uh, brought out here today, uh, it actually holds two different radios. One can be from one provider and another one can be from another provider, or you can double up the radios if you're going to do LTE aggregation. So do you have um, equipment now for two providers or on the same board? We're just now in the process of rolling this out to customers, so we haven't done that yet, but we have talked about, if you want to call them neutral host metro cell yeah. deployments, with a couple of folks already. Well, that can be very exciting. All right, Steve. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martha.